Welcome back. In the previous section, we have created the template that we will use within our application. Now we will move to the Blazor side. Uh, first, we will start by initializing the project, creating a Blazor WebAssembly project, but with an Azure Active Directory authentication. Uh, then we will apply the template we have created to the Blazor app. After that, we will go and create the application within the Azure Active Directory, so which we will use to authenticate the users and get access to their calendar. And this way we can manage their events. So right now, let's get started by creating the Blazor WebAssembly project. I will open the Blazor calendar folder we have created earlier and create or open the CMD here. Then I will click on .NET new Blazor WebAssembly like this and I will define the argument uh, AU, which, which is an abbreviation for authentication. And the type of authentication I will define is single organization, like this. Actually, it's going to be for different type of Microsoft accounts. We will change um, a little bit within the settings of the project, but this will initialize it with an Azure Active Directory authentication. I won't define any client ID or tenant ID uh, because I haven't registered my application yet, we will do this in a later stage. And also I will define the output argument, which is the name of the folder. I will call it Blazor Calendar and click enter. Okay, awesome. Here is right now, if I go to Blazor Calendar, as you can see, the Blazor application is out there. I'll go back to the Visual Studio Code. I'll click on Open Folder, choose Blazor Calendar, and click Select Folder. OK. Now, I have all the extensions installed, as I have discussed in the second uh, section, for Razor and C Sharp. Everything is just ready. So what I'm going to do right now is to go for the folder here. Go to Blazor Calendar. Let's click Yes. Go to the Design. I'll copy the assets of the whole folder. Go to Blazor Calendar, www root, and just paste it here. Okay. Then go back to the design. I will open this one with not bad. Okay. Let's copy that. And I'll go to www root here, open index.html. Okay, great. And I'll paste it here. I'll take this two from just this one, sorry. And okay, then let's remove this. Like that. Okay, that's great. Now I will go to the CSS app.css and I will remove everything actually related to the design of the page except the section that's related to the exception that shows there is something wrong at the bottom of the page. So I will get rid of all of this. I will leave the validation message. Okay. Remove the sidebar, everything that can affect our design. Like that. Okay. Perfect. Now I will go 
to the pages uh, to the shared folder and open the main layout we need to change this first let's remove the sidebar and let's see here there is the nav bar like that okay and this is the body of the page i will remove all of this get rid of it then we will go to the nav menu we will replace all of this like that and i will go back to this page and bring this nav bar get it like that i will paste it here okay this is just perfect as you can see we need just to implement uh, the toggle button here and regarding the login section i will remove it and type call the login display component like that okay perfect and let's go to the pages I'll go for index the tracer to the main page. I'll remove all of this and I'll go here, bring the header, only the header, the header, and I will click like that. That's awesome. Now, this content will be shown only for not authenticated users. So to do it, I will add an authorized view. Authorize view. And for not authorized users, not authorized like that. I'll copy this content and paste it here. So if the user is not authorized, he will show this, the sign in button, otherwise nothing will be shown. And here should be the calendar component. Yes, perfect. And what else we should do? Yeah, if we go to the www root, here we will find an app settings.json. This file has been created with the latest uh, release of Blazor of Assembly and instead of doing anything at program.cs right now you have this JSON file that contains the settings of your application. As you can see by default uh, .NET have initialized our project with these settings regarding the Azure Active Directory, the authority and the client ID, validate authority and also in the program.cs it has initialized everything related to the authentication using Microsoft Azure Active Directory. We will get back to this later on after we will initialize and the, the calendar, the everything related to the process of our application and we will develop the working with events against a static list. When we make sure that everything is working fine from the UI perspective, we will just uh, implement the Microsoft Graph and the Azure Active Directory application that will authenticate our users. So right now I will uh, launch the application to make sure that everything is working fine. I will click on new terminal and I will click on .NET build. And .NET run. Okay, let's navigate to the local host. Yeah, here we go. Everything is just working fine for not authenticated users. This one is being shown. After we log in, uh, it will disappear. Here we will show the calendar component. We will create it as a separated one. And here we have the login. If we click on it. As you can see, it tries to redirect me to the Microsoft, but 
we haven't initialized it yet with the required application and registrations from the Azure side. Okay, everything's perfect right now. We can move on to the calendar component and the side menu that's existing over here to complete the process of structuring the UI.